Hey guys, let's get more news from Steelers, but first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. Steelers big offseason thing, give up on Kenny Pickett? Yahoo Sports' Jason Fitz looks at the one big thing for Pittsburgh's offseason, and it's time to make a decision on if the former first-round pick really is the team's future at quarterback. It's time to take a look at one big thing facing the Pittsburgh Steelers this offseason, and that's when do you give up on Kenny Pickett. Now, I'll be the first to admit I didn't love the draft pick. When I was covering the draft that year and we saw it, I thought the story was better than the pick. The concept of the quarterback at Pitt playing in the same stadium on Sundays for the Pittsburgh Steelers was such a feel-good moment that everybody just wanted it to work out. But I always felt like it was a reach at that spot to take that particular quarterback. So now where are we? Well, we're in a situation where, yes, the Steelers, as we comment every single year, find a way to make sure that they have winning seasons all the time. But do they have that guy? I don't know, in the current AFC, if you have the greatest coach in the world, if you can really compete if you don't have a Patrick Mahomes, a Josh Allen, a Joe Burrow. The Pittsburgh Steelers don't have that. That's going to lead to speculation all offseason about what they're actually going to do, and there are certainly names out there that would make sense. Justin Fields, already part of the rumor mill, constantly about ending up with the Steelers. Ryan Tannehill, a veteran quarterback that obviously knows Arthur Smith well, could go into that offense and have success. There are names out there. But what the Pittsburgh Steelers cannot do, in my opinion, is come into this season and just decide to run it back with Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett by himself is not going to be good enough to win football games for the Steelers in this AFC. So as they continue to figure out how to build the rest of their team, the one thing the Steelers will have to address is who's coming in to compete with Kenny Pickett to make sure that they are more competitive at the most important position in all of sports. Russell Wilson expected to sign with next team for league minimum. The Denver Broncos are expected to release Russell Wilson next month and when they do, the quarterback should draw plenty of interest from other teams as a free agent. Wilson, 35, will be an affordable option and he's one of just five active quarterbacks in the NFL who have won a Super Bowl, as a starter. Depending on how the Broncos process the release, Wilson's dead money cap hit in Denver will be either $35.40 or $53 million in 2024. Regardless of when he is released, Wilson will be paid his $17 million salary from the Broncos this year, and he was already paid $10 million as part of a prorated signing bonus, and he has a $8.4 million option bonus as well. Long story short, Denver will be paying Wilson a lot in 2024, and that will make him an attractive option for other teams. Because he's already being paid by the Broncos in 2024, Wilson is expected to sign with his next team for, or near, the league minimum, $1.21 million. That would give Denver minimal cap relief while doing his next team a big favor, and it might increase the number of interested teams because any club in the league can create $1.21 million worth of cap space. When the Broncos release Wilson next month, other teams will have the opportunity to sign a Super Bowl champion at a discounted rate, thanks to the guaranteed elements of the contract Denver gave the quarterback in 2022. A fitting end to a disastrous trade for the Broncos. Russell Wilson adores his blended family. The Denver Broncos quarterback, 35, spoke candidly in a new interview released on Monday about the moment he knew he was ready to be a father, which also happened to be his first meeting with his future wife Sierra, 38, and stepson future Zahir, 9. Right before I met, Sierra, I wrote out my five non-negotiables, Wilson told I am athlete. He shared his list included meeting a woman of faith, independence, and someone that was going to love me the way my mom loved my dad on his deathbed, when he was at his lowest and so I prayed about that. I wrote it out actually on a napkin at dinner, he continued. Three days later I meet, Sierra. When I walked in the room and saw, you know, little future, who was nine months at the time, and he crawls in my lap, it was like, this is going to be my responsibility. I remember leaving that night and God saying to me, raising this child it's gonna be your responsibility. And realizing that, I'm praying to God, are you sure this is what you want me to do? He's saying, son this is for you. That was, the first night, 
Wilson explained. When asked if he initially found the prospect of becoming a step-parent scary, Wilson responded, not scary, but it was also an opportunity. Like, okay God, this is what you want me to do. Stepping in to raise a child with, Sierra, and realizing that, okay God, I know she's the one for me. But also too, I'm gonna take this responsibility as well. Steelers, Russell Wilson favored to replace Kenny Pickett as QB1. The Pittsburgh Steelers are in desperate need of a change at the quarterback position as Kenny Pickett has failed to live up to expectations. They also released Mitch Trubisky, so there are a lot of rumors regarding the Steelers. One name has popped up recently with Denver Broncos, QB Russell Wilson, favored to go to Pittsburgh in the latest odds from Bet Online. The odds are regarding the Steelers starting QB in Week 1. Russell Wilson's future with the Broncos is up in the air, and Sean Payton revealed it should be decided soon. With a big contract hit, there is a scenario where the Broncos cut ties after another disappointing campaign. In 2023, Wilson threw for 3,070 tards with 26 touchdowns and 8 interceptions, the fewest yards thrown for in his entire NFL career. Justin Fields is another name that has been recently linked to the Steelers. The Chicago Bears have decisions to make on whether to trade him and select someone number one overall, or keep Fields and bypass on Caleb Williams or Drake May. Baker Mayfield is almost certainly heading back to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and he is fifth on the list with plus 700 odds. Still, seeing Russell Wilson's name tied to the Steelers is an interesting one although a change of scenery could be beneficial for Wilson. The Steelers need a new quarterback one way or the other, and if it isn't Wilson or Fields, then a rookie could come in and challenge Pickett for the starting job. Amid rumors that he will be released by the Denver Broncos after being moved to the bench, quarterback Russell Wilson spoke out with a short message published on his social media this Wednesday, 27. God is with me. Looking forward to what's to come, wrote the player on X, the old Twitter. According to multiple sources in the North American press, the franchise's motivation for Wilson's move to the bench would be financial, as the athlete would have a bonus of US$37 million US dollars for 2025 if he suffered an injury in the last games of this season or would be on the squad in March 2024. Even so, during a press conference this Wednesday, 27, Head coach Sean Payton contradicted the initial information by stating that the change was based on a technical option. I can tell you that we are desperately trying to win, assured Payton. Of course, in our current game there are economies and all these other things, but the number one motivation behind this, and it's the decision I'm making, is to get a spark offensively. Next Sunday, 31, Denver will start with Jarrett Stidham as under center. However, the situation doesn't seem to sound the same for the quarterback. According to Diana Rossini, reporter for The Athletic, the player started playing for Denver in the last two months believing that he would be cut by the franchise in March 2024. The situation was detailed by Jordan Schultz from Bleacher Report. According to the journalist, representatives from Denver met with Wilson on October 29, after a victory over the Kansas City Chiefs, to inform him that he would be inactive for the remainder of the season if he did not adjust his contract to postpone his retirement date. Injury clause, which would be activated anyway if he was in the squad in March next year. And you fan, what do you think of the Russell Wilson situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.